welcome to MBS Show, episode number 329. I am your host, Norman Santo. Joining me today is Starstream. Hello, every pony. How are you doing, man? It's been a while, I think. And not much has changed, other than I've been busy playing Monster Hunter. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Monster Hunter on the uh, PC. Yeah. How's that going for you, man? It's such a great game, whatnot. Except that it's been riddled with complete uh, a major bug, I think. Or is it? No, not a major bug. Uh, I could just say, well, uh, server having their own problem because overloading. <laughs> Too many people play. I also heard there's some redundancy in some of the uh, missions. Not much of a redundancy because in the end... You still have to farm for those, uh, you still have to fight those monsters and then you farm materials just to get the armor and whatnot. The only redundancy is that, um, well, people have been crushed with their CPU, GPU problem and then there was also some, uh, well, some people who are my friend, um, friends on my Steam list will always notice that, um, you always keep seeing a pop up saying that I'm playing Monster Hunter World or something. <laughs> but you are. Yeah, but it keep popping out every thirty minutes or something, thirty seconds or something. It is get annoying though. They want to, they, 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 Capcom wants them to know that you're playing Monster Hunter, so this means that yeah. they, you, they could join you. Don't play other games, play Monster Hunter. Nah, <laughs> low. We should get into the pony news because yeah, yeah. this week has been riddled with a lot of pony news. That is true, my friend. That is true. So. Last week it was like empty. It was like a lot of silence. Yeah. The week of silence. And now it was like the whole pony news dump. <laughs> I know. It's like Splash. what the hey? Oh my Splash. goodness. So yeah, we got a lot of news this week and we're gonna steamroll them through stuff, stuff, stuff. So anywho, starting the news. Do you know anything about Linux? Yep, I know some of Linux. Yeah. Well, apparently the popular Distros, which is the distrib, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's the distribution for their software. Um, Mac OS that is being passed around. Yeah, that's one of the distros. <laughs> my Linux. Well, it's not free, but though. it's a separate thing. Yeah, it's not free, yes, it's a separate thing. So one of the uh, Linux distros, uh, Ubuntu, apparently has a new app on Twitter. Shown a new app on. Uh, apparently, the the Twitter of uh, official Ubuntu Twitter has. Pop up a little pony plugin <clears throat> called Pony Say, which is just a small software that displays ponies with quotes from the show. And this is one of those things where it's been around before, like those pixel ponies where you go on the tumblers and people program them in it to it. You, you know, right? Yep. Now it's some official app on Ubuntu. Mm-hmm. But the way the picture they posted, it looks like a DOS. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so okay, um, I don't have Ubuntu, and I'm not hundred percent sure if I know how to use it. But uh, you seem to be more knowledgeable than me. So what what do you take on this? I think it's interesting. <laughs> That's all I could say because I uh, not much knowledgeable on Ubuntu. I do know that you can program things on it. I mean, well, they mostly run in simultaneously, like with DOS mode or something like that. I'm not too sure myself because I'm not. What you call it? That uh, tech savvy, knowledgeable. Uh, it, uh, yeah, tech fully on uh, Linux side. But I do know that every distribution of uh, Linux or uh, distros, as what they call it, um, do different purposes. For example, the Ubuntu is the most uh, one of the more popular distros, where it's um, catered to the beginners or whatnot. But there's also some that are more towards like the privacy. There's also some towards more on the what you call it, white hat hacking and whatnot. Mm. There's just a lot of distros that do different kind of purposes. It's up to people how they want to look for these kind of things. I do wonder that, um, hoping someone actually create a distro for Pony. <laughs> yeah, it's probably in their free time and it's easy. And also at the same time too, distro for uh, Linux in terms of popularity, it's usually gone for uh, Ubuntu. There's other distribution out there. Uh, like a good example is the Mac OS. Uh, that is running on a Linux engine somehow. It's It's been really a while ago. If I don't really remember. It's probably a modified version of it. I do remember 
back then, uh, one person has the license to modify Linux, which is Steve Jobs. <laughs> and yes, because of that, we got Mac now. Yeah, and hey, it's one of those things where if you're a Mac, a Linux, or a PC, it doesn't really matter because you can only play Overwatch on PC. <laughs> so anywho, let's move on to the next news. <laughs> so anywho, yeah, um, that took you a while, didn't it? <laughs> okay, I, I lie, I lie. You can also play it on the PS4 and Xbox One, yes. But anywho. Um, next news is we have some DVDs, which I'm sure that could be played on all three machines. But in all honesty, who has a DVD drive anymore, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> unless you have a separate DVD drive or a PS4 or a console, you know, they can do the same DVD stuff also. Yeah, yeah. So, what's the point of having a DVD nowadays? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But anyway, uh, talking about the DVDs, Crash Royale special. Yes, the some, somehow Amazon posted on their website that there's going to be a Equestriagle special DVD including 10 Equestriagle Adventure shorts uh, Forgotten Friendship and Roller Coaster of Friendships so I'm guessing this is similar to the previous one we had uh, I think it was the Magic series where we had Dance Magic Mirror Magic and also Movie Magic yes so we had all three of those and in this one here I'm guessing we're going to have um, the Forgotten Friendship, and then in between those are the shorts, and then we're gonna have uh, the Roller Coaster of Friendship. Yes, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, prices for those are, I'm guessing, gonna be fifteen dollars probably. Oh uh, no, no, this is interesting. It's showing me at twelve ninety nine pound. I wonder why. Is it because I'm uh, yes, I'm in the Amazon UK. Huh, but why is it in UK but not US? I don't know. School Seth for it. Like School Seth is who who Yeah, Seth. School Seth for this because he was the one that linked it to Amazon UK. And I think it's only in the UK then. <laughs> but yeah, excited for this? I guess so. <laughs> oh, you guess so. Uh, but hey, it's, at least it's one of those things where, yeah, I get more pony stuff to buy. And yeah, talking about more pony stuff. A Christmas special DVD is coming soon too. Um, and I'm also guessing it's probably in the UK too. Yes, it's in the UK. <laughs> Sam, what have we been doing? <laughs> I, I'm guessing it's only in the UK for now. So um, in this Christmas special here, I think it's something to do with some of the recent Christmas episodes that came out, I think. But that's only 30 minutes long. How are you going to expand it to one hour? Oh, wait, there's a, maybe a special means it's like the, what do you call it? I can't remember what it was. Oh, yeah, it's the season, the season, maybe it's implemented like any of the Christmas special from season one or until the season eight. Like, for example, the Hearts Warming <laughs> episode I know in season seven or six, I can't remember. Um... And there's also the winter wrap up. Yeah. No, I think for this one, uh, I remember that in season 8, there's going to be a Christmas special. And I think along the way, there's another one, if I remember right, from the previous from San Diego Comic Con recently. I remember that happening. So, hey, uh, we could get two Christmas special in one DVD. So that makes sense, right? Yep, I think so. Yeah, it's 44 and one episode is 22. So yeah, it makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But hey, let's move on to another shopping website because Amazon is all great and all but I don't know if I can access Amazon because every time when I click on a link it sends me to the UK <laughs> thank you Seth but, well at least we can still buy it and you will still ship it to where we are no. it's worldwide shipping no, no. really yeah. Yeah, apparently for the second one it's shipped to Brunei great on you man but anywho uh, let's go to China with AliExpress so yay, AliExpress are selling strange pony knockoffs that appear to be Lego-like. What? Uh, I'm not surprised because I, I've been seeing a, a few knockoffs and some popular ones like the Mega... What was it? What brand already? I can't remember. Yeah, but there are a few Lego brands and whatnot. So apparently there is a... They use the blind bag mode and make into a MLP Lego. 
That's kind of interesting. Yeah, but at the same time too. Why? There's no re- there's no real reason for you to do this. And it's creepy. Uh yeah. <laughs> at least they call it my my lovely horse. I, I oh, seen that no. before, actually. Yeah, my lovely horse <laughs> is one thing, but if you take a look see at the picture, it's my little lonely. <laughs> Oh, are you sure My Little Lonely or My Little Bony? No, it's My Little Lonely. They switched the P with an L. No, it's it's a reverse P. It's a B. It's not an L, it's a B. Are you sure that's the P that they use? It's P that... Uh, never mind. I know, but is that the P that they use for the pony? I don't remember that. Okay, fine. Uh, because I was lo- looking at the small image, I didn't click and zoom in. Yeah, click um, no, zoom. That. Click zoom in hands. <laughs> God dang it! It just reminded me of that game that I recently tried out on. Uh, <laughs> and he tried out. Uh, Such a weird game. Oh wow! And I'm terrible at it. <laughs> yeah, but talking about terrible, this these toys are terrible. I know that way back when, uh, there was the Lego Kuso kind of project where, uh, creators could create stuff on their website to for it to get a chance to get a toy out of it and ponies was one of them and they go said no because licensing and whatnot mm, that was way back way way back yeah but still no toys uh and this one yeah yeah no 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 like good idea ali express and whoever vendors that's doing this but no 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 so let's head to the next news and still sticking with china it's not China. Now it's changed to Taiwan. All right. For God's sake. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm what you would call this a, um, ignorant. I won't say American. I'm just ignorant. Jeez. But, but anyway, yes. Uh, Taiwan created a music video for the My Little Pony team. I got no idea what's this for. Okay. Star, tell please tell me you know something about this. Uh, you want me to explain? A bit, if you can. Well, based on the video that I watched, which I actually watched the whole thing, and I was like, uh, okay, fine. It's actually uh this team song. I logo is YoYo TV, so that is a very popular ch- uh you know channel that uh, broadcasted the MLP in Taiwan. And uh, apparently, based on what I see as the article right now, is because they are doing the fun run event. Oh, the fun run! Yeah, I remember those. And the dancers, uh, well, I feel like I've seen them before. That's all I can say. All right, all right. So basically, you're lost that's, in the woods. That's all I can say. So yeah, um, it's not my... really lost in the woods. It's just that I'm terrible at explaining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So anywho, from what I can understand, or from what I saw, um. They took the original theme song, the long version of the theme song, and I'm just going to say that they translated it into Chinese. And yeah. I got no idea. Like, it's terrible if the no main Twilight uh, first suit dancing in the middle while those two other dancers are singing and dancing on the sides. Like, hmm, hmm. Yeah, the words left my mouth or mine. I I can't. I can't. So you know what? Let's travel away from Taiwan and let's go to France. Wow, we go from one corner to another corner. Uh huh. So in France, home of the Eiffel Tower, home of the miraculous ladybugs and whatnot, we get France releasing all of season eight up until two. Tw- Episode 21. Le what? In French. Si, si. Get it? Si. Si. <laughs> That's Spanish. Uh, so, yeah. Oui. Sorry. <laughs> it's oui. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, anywho. Uh, We're terrible. <laughs> I know. It's so terrible. I know. <laughs> this is what happens when we don't have news that much. And suddenly, we get a bombardment of news. Yes. So, anywho. France has been releasing season 8 episodes up until episode 21 in French. Um, I got no idea how this is. Probably stuff. And earlier we'd say thanks Australia. 
but now we have the French to thank for. And on top of that, uh, Swedish is also joining in the game. Ooh, you want some Swedish meatball? Ikea! Ay, ay, ay. So, well, at least we know that, uh, we now know that uh, Swedish me- uh, meatball doesn't come from Sweden. <laughs> so, anywho, uh, this time around, the Swedes didn't want to lose to the French, so they released up to 24 episodes. Like, what? So does that mean that it's uh, just plus two more episodes and we get the finale? Yeah. Yeah. No, wait, uh, just two more. But yeah, just, uh, just 24 plus two. Yeah. Then we get... 20... Wait, is it 24 or is it 26? 26. 26. Oh, 26. Okay. So yeah. At least I'm not wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the French and the Swedes are collabing to break the pony cycle somehow. So uh, earlier episodes release in i think their native tongues so yay uh but hey uh if you don't want to kind of spoil yourself on uh foreign language ponies why not go back to netflix and watch it there because hey exploration did remove on netflix woo and also uk is getting the pony movies there yay so way back when uh, i didn't report this because it's not a fun thing to report on but hey uh, it seems that the expiry date on Netflix has been removed. It was scheduled to be expired on August 31st, but now it's been removed. So yeah, we got more Pony episodes coming on Netflix and we get to watch them and movies also there too in the UK. So yeah, yeah much awesomeness, man. It's all fun. It's all fun. I, I feel like this is quite funny though when I read this part of the news. <laughs> why, why, what, what happened? Wait, I mean, they remove the, the time, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. At, at first, we uh-huh. do hear that, oh, okay, they say that, oh, it's going to end the license soon. Uh-huh. Because we, we I remember that we talked about it before. Uh-huh. And then and then we now we say that, oh, they remove the time. Yeah, that, that's great. Like, and then... Wait, what? Yeah, that's great. That's great. Now we jump into the next piece of news. Yeah, there's one more news, yes. <laughs> and apparently, we got back the expiry date. What? And what the heck, man? <laughs> You're telling me I was hyped all over nothing because Netflix couldn't decide? Apparently, yes. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> okay, so, anywho, the only piece of good news here is that the My Little Pony movie is available on Netflix in the UK. So, it seems that the expiry date for ponies on Netflix is still there. Uh, last chance to watch ponies on the 31st of August. Um, I'm not 100% sure if this is covering until season 1 or later or whatnot because over in Malaysia, we still have ponies in uh, our Netflix and from starting from season 1 to 2. That's about it. Surprised that it's not all the way until 7. I know, right? I think it's the licensing that's the issue. Oh, the licensing is one thing because every time Netflix has a show there, there's a timer there where it's there for how many amount of time is there. And once it's done, it cycles out and adds more new things in and whatnot. Terrible idea. (laughs) Hey. I don't know. It's this one way they get to make money and whatnot. But hey, um, Netflix is not the only place to get your pony fix because, hey, if you really want to keep your pony episodes, you can always buy them on Blu-ray. If they release a Blu-ray set of it, <laughs> I'm guessing no. So uh, the other option is to go on iTunes. For you Americans out there, you can get ponies on iTunes in standard definition or high definition. And I don't remember how much the price is, but hey, it's worth it if you enjoy the show and want to support the show officially. Agree. And with that, that is the news for this week. Ah, we are going through fast. So anywho, let's head on to my favorite topic, which is what have we been doing with our week? So Star, you were not on last week, so I'm guessing you had a full pack week. So tell me, man, what happened? Okay, a few things that has happened. So one was, uh, did I cover that I watched Evo? No, you weren't here last week, so you didn't. And also Evo was last week. Uh, yes, I'm not sure that you watch it. Did you watch it? Highlights, highlights. I only remember Taken... Because the creator of Taken went up on stage and participated. 
Really? No, I did not see that part. Well, I the only part that I was watching was uh, the Dragon Ball one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, that that one was that incredible. one was very very call it very intense. And then there was also the Street Fighter, which I didn't watch fully, but I did watch the some of the highlights. Well, in the end, I I just watched the whole highlight. <laughs> and apparently, this year's Evo was a bit interesting. Well, especially with the fact that um, with the what you call it. The King, uh, Dragon Ball event. Yeah, Man, yeah. that one was intense. Yeah, that, Especially that. the finals when they suddenly call for the switching the seat. It was like, yeah, what? Yeah. Okay, it's one of those things where Sonic Fox asked to change seats with Goichi. And yep. this is one of those situations where if it was never done before in EVO. And oh. it, it, was just in, it was just Sonic Fox asking, could I change positions? Because uh, technically... Switching positions in a fighting game does kind of matter because some players like to be in the player 1 spot, some players like to be in the player 2 spot. From what I understand, a lot of players like to be in the player 2 spot because of how uh, controlling or doing a quarter circle forward feels natural. Maybe. But but then again, there is also one more fact. There's also a possibility was because of Goichi at that time, he was in that, what you call it, that... M- Rage zone. mode. <laughs> yeah, he was on the in the zone. He was in the zone. He was really in the zone, man, because yeah. of he got sacked down by Sonic Fox and now he was going to get his revenge. Well, at least he get, did get one round, managed to kick him back into the loser. Yeah, I know. Loser but, bracket, yeah. yeah. But here's the thing. With, but that was really yeah. intense, yeah. But here's the thing. With high-end competition in terms of fighting games, like, okay, if some people might say, like, oh, look at Sonic Fox uh, changing spots, like, uh. That's cheating and whatnot. But now, if you're a high-level player and you say that Goichi lost because he changed spots, that's insulting to Goichi. Like, he, that's true. He is at that high level where changing spots doesn't really matter at all. Mm-hmm. It, it takes a, a few seconds to understand where's your life point and where's your super, but you're a high-level player. You will catch that in an instant. But... Other than that, I don't know. It could be the mind game. It could be the momentum stopper. It is. It could be almost anything. Like, I didn't really watch the match, but all I have to say is that congratulations, Sonic Fox. Congratulations, congratulations, Goichi. You did well in the first appearance of Dragon Ball Fighter Z at Evo. Well, let's me sorry to hijack your Evo talk. So, what else, man? It's it's fine. Oh well, I also been playing Monster Hunter. <laughs> Yeah. As what we being mentioned just now in the beginning, be- beginning uh, of the cast. Yeah, you you, yep. you mentioned that before. Like I remember, uh, you were here at my place, and Monster Hunter was available for demo on the PlayStation, yep. and downloaded on yep. my console for a bit. And yeah, you played it, and I was wondering, like, hey, are you going to buy Monster Hunter? And you were saying, oh, I'll think about it. At first, yes, I was I was thinking about you know I w- I was gonna buy it and whatnot, but after a while, it was like. You know what? I think I might as well just wait for PC edition instead. <laughs> yeah, and it came out, and it came out. But here's the thing: like, I I don't know what to say because after looking at a few things like Monster Hunter, uh, they released the character skin for Street Fighter. They gave you Ryu and Sakura, and you could do the Dragon Punch and the Fireball. I'm not hundred mm-hmm. percent sure if you can do the Tatsu, but yeah, they gave you those skins and whatnot. Also, Devil May Cry on top. And on top of yep. that, they also did... The Basically, a, a lot of collaborations, that's all. Yeah. Well, know. the thing is... The thing is... Uh, you have to remember, though, PS4 released early. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. And the reason why they took out this long just to release on the PC was because from what I hear, I could be wrong. Mm-hmm. Um, the team behind this uh, Monster Hunter World, they were like... They were not used to... Apparently, uh, coding it on PC or something. Yeah, like that, I heard idea. that too. I heard that too. So they took the time to learn on the PC side, and um, well, dips to them. They managed to release it with a uh, great review. Uh, it was great and whatnot. The only problem was the server was having issues, oh, a lot yeah. of issues because there were too many people playing. <laughs> I can yeah. kind of understand because the fact that apparently it's not just on PC; it was also on happens on PS4 and Xbox One. I mean, I mean, some people are lucky enough to get the issue also. But the thing is that you kind of have to remember uh, the fact that this is also their first time releasing on it on uh, 
well. Not counting the Frontier. This is considered their main title releasing it on their PC, on the PC platform for the first time ever. Yeah, true, true. So, and... yeah, yeah. So, it's slightly different because it's also a triple A title, not like the previous Monster Hunter, which was released on PC. That was uh, Monster Hunter Frontier. Which was only available in Japan, oh, yeah, yeah. and running on subs and running on the monthly subscription system, and it's more towards uh, uh, MMORPG mechanics. Yeah, and also Japan has really high speed internet, so yeah. No, it doesn't matter actually oh, because it does. Monster, right? because if it's in a localized area, Japan, you don't really have to ping multiple servers. Like if your country has really good internet speed, you're not you're not putting variables about okay. Uh, how does this internet speed goes here, or how does this go there and stuff? Like it's only in your region. Well, truth be told, there are people who play by VPN, which is actually yeah, not, and allowed. they're not going. Not, to... I mean, yeah, true that. But I mean, but the thing is, but the thing is, you do have to remember. Uh, Monsanto is actually known for a decent netcode, whatnot. So it's not that bad. I mean, even right, like right now, when I'm playing Monsanto World or multiplayer, even though with a lot of disconnects, when even with and when I manage to connect it to multiplayer and when I play with them, I rarely encounter any major lies that cause me to completely disconnect when during the match, if that is the proper multiplayer that is. All right, all right. Because sometimes it's so, if you are unlucky enough, halfway in the fight, you will just dis- disconnect out of nowhere and oh, everyone man. will be just gone. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Which I encountered that a few times and especially when I'm hunting the more annoying monster, so it's damn annoying and whatnot. Yeah, all right, all right. But still, uh, there's also what uh, the Final Fantasy fourteen crossover, so that's cool too. Yeah, yes, yeah. the Behemoth. I seen the a bit of the battle mechanics. The, apparently, from what I, I hear, what people say, the mechanics is a bit. The way they do Monster Hunter on uh, the Behemoth fight is a bit more. Uh, it's a bit more like Final Fantasy fourteen. <laughs> no, they force you to be a bit more like raid. More. Is in like one person has to do healing, one person DPS, yeah, yeah. one person to tank and whatnot. It's it's, it's cool. It's yeah, cool. And you want to know I, a fun thing? That... You want to know a fun thing? Uh, the Rephalos in fourteen fights the same way as it does in fire in, in Monster, Hunter. Monster Hunter. Yeah, so it's like what? <laughs> so, so you pretty much have to think a lot, though. I mean, like we have to think <laughs> of the box of how to fight, or else yeah. I seen some of the what you call it the fighting the 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 way you fight the monster and. Jeez, the him of yeah. such a huge... What, has a one heck of a nuke, yeah. that's all I could say. Uh, true, true. Uh, and also, what uh, they, they announced uh, Rufflos in Smash. Smash! Yeah, so, <laughs> that's great too. But, yeah, that's great. And apparently the map that we saw was Ancestral Steep. That was one of the previous Monster Hunter games. And from there, we could probably uh, take a guess that maybe... We got a Monster Hunter character in Smash. Nah, probably skins. No, but no nah. I mean, like, no, I mean, as maybe of a high chance that we may get a, uh, what you call it, a Monster Hunter character. On. Nah, but we will never know. We, we will, will never we know. We will get a Monster Hunter character. Like the best they could do is just give in some, uh, me armor or something like that. Me switches for your amiibo fighters. Maybe. Yeah, that's that's the best. But still, at least the one that created the most hype was when they met, announced King K. Roo. Oh yeah. boy, that was everyone was. Oh yeah, everyone was like wanting it, man. I did not expect so many people requested for. It. Oh, it's only the Americans. But no, at the same time too, uh, nobody was expecting Belmont. Ah yes, the Simon Belmont and yeah, uh, and Luigi's dead. Victor <laughs> Belmont. <laughs> Luigi's dead. Well, apparently, uh, there's a bit of a. We probably will see that as in another mode in Smash. We will never know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here's the one that everybody wants, but no. Uh, but uh, Sakurai is not gonna fulfill, and that's what? Waluigi. It's a assist trophy. That's all I will say. <laughs> no, you don't want an assist trophy. We want him as a character. I do not know. As we know, Sakurai is pro at trolling. Like. <laughs> For example, when they announced King K. Rule, jeez, they do the what King BDD troll. That was the best one. Yeah. Everyone was like, <laughs> everyone was so high. Like, yeah, and then it was like, when they see the DDD, King BDD section, it was like, ooh. <laughs> but then... that, that, that flat out silence, man. That flat out silence. 
and all people like raging. When he came in, it was like, yeah, I was like, okay. Yeah. It was worth it. It was worth it. Yeah, it was worth it. So yeah, uh, yeah, a lot of good games coming out. A lot of good games coming out. Anything else, man, besides that? Oh, uh, I'm still waiting for this one game called Two Point Hospital, which is going to release by the end of the month. Awesome. So I'm hyped for that. Awesome, yep. Awesome. And there's just too much news. I'm lazy to cover them all. Alrighty then. So anyway, as for me, what have I been doing? Uh, pretty simple things like recently, Magic the Gathering Commander Set 2018 came out and I bought them and I've been playing a bit with my friends. And yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, Commander gameplay is a huge multiplayer where f- up to four people, up to six and whatnot can brawl in a game where you just have a lot of fun and don't think about it too much. Like, you can tune your deck to be hyper-competitive, hyper-casual, hyper-trolly, hyper-dumb. Like, you can just do whatever you want, man. The The game for Commander is you just have to have one card of each except for basic lands and just go ahead at it. Like, I'm not going to tell you about the whole rule. I could take a f- few days for me to explain, but just go online and check it out or just buy the commander deck well from my understanding of commander basically easy summary one planeswalker which is the hero and a hundred cards deck that's it kind of but to be more exact you have one commander of a certain color and 99 cards in your deck that's yeah. about it but now nah, that's something that's- else i'm not going to go into it because that'll get me talking and i know and like I said, that is the simplest way of saying it. Kind of, yeah, but no, no, really. It doesn't really fulfill my need to talk. But talking about my need to talk about Magic Gathering, I've been also listening to this one YouTube channel slash podcast called Command Zone. It's done by Josh Lee Kwai and his partner, Jimmy Lee. And they talk about Magic the Gathering commanders. They have commander games and they play a lot of commanders and whatnot and they are a lot of fun to watch because if you have any interest in magic the gathering and love commander or is interested or curious into in commander just go watch that like you'll have fun just watching them banter and interact like biggest difference in commander is the table politics where you can just make deals with people to make sure that hey uh Help me to help you to defeat that guy or something like that. I mean, it's a lot of fun. And it's just, like I said, like, it's fun. You don't need to be competitive. Just go watch and have fun. So, yeah, uh, I've been watching The Command Zone on YouTube. So, that's a recommendation for me. Other than that, uh, still haven't passed Mega Man 7. I, Star, I, I think you were the one that asking me how do I like Mega Man X. Uh, 5 to 7 and 8, right? Yep, up, up to X8, yeah. yeah. Uh, did you hear my answers for them? No, I don't think so. Yeah, okay, <laughs> I, I think that was with Twy. So yeah, um, yep. I hate it. I hate 5, 6, and 7. <laughs> I seriously hate it. I I, I am, well, my opinion, 5 and 6 was fine. Seven no. Was... That's not a word! No. no, in my opinion, my opinion. Okay, you are entitled to your opinion, yes? But the biggest problem for me was the way that the game wants to do. Five was five was aggravating. Like there's one level where I talk about this before. I'm not gonna talk about it again. Shoot. Uh it's the it's the level of the whale. <laughs> okay, one one it's the level uh, of the okay. whale. You, one, you know that level, okay. you know what I mean. Uh and okay. six is the level with okay, there's two levels. It's the volcanic level and the junkyard level with the compressor. Yeah, I hate those two levels. Like ah, one one thing I I do ask though, when you play X five and X six, did you do it hundred percent? As in like get yes, all the armor and whatnot? I did it because of the achievement. So technically, I got hundred percent in those two games for the achievements. Good enough, good enough. Yeah, and I hate it. And <laughs> even six doesn't really make sense. Like six has the most dumbest thing ever because, uh, the game gives you, uh, or the game gives X two armors, the Actually, four armors, but in game you got three. If you start the game, 
you get the falcon armor the falcon armor was the previous good one in five which allows you to fly infinitely but in game story because hey uh we didn't have time to fix the armor so we had to nerf it so yeah and here's the thing there's no real point for you to use the falcon armor you could just use the ultimate armor because the ultimate armor is accessible via cheat while in f- five you can get it in the game via story so there's no point like you want to make your life easier cheat in six done mm. seven is another beast i i don't like seven seven piss me off sad life uh, yeah and i haven't even touched eight yet so yeah that's going to be one of those dumb things and from what i understand the uh, achievements for alia calling you that's bugged so yeah <sighs> and Alia is, you know what I'm not going to talk about this I'm not going to talk about this I hate 5, 6 and 7 they, those games rage me talking about Mega Man right I've seen the new Mega Man cartoon series how is it it's rather entertaining Mega Man fully charged and also Voltron Ooh. season 7 uh, Voltron legendary defender season 7 yes uh, Voltron is awesome highly recommend go watching it um, Mega Man fully charged it's up to episode 10 now. It's okay. Um, I like it because Vincent Tong is there. For you guys at home who got no idea who Vincent Tong is, he's the voice actor that does Flash Sentry. So yeah. And also he's a cool dude. So yeah. But anyway, um, for Mega Man <laughs> Fully Charged, I, I, I say that if you are a fan of Mega Man, give this a shot. Give this the honors college try. Because I like it because there's certain scenes where, example, if uh, there's the bad guy, Airman, and when Mega Man's fighting him, they play the Airman music team. So it's like, oh, wow, that's so cool. So that's my say on it. Like, give it a shot. It's fun. That's about it. And other than that, uh, that's about it. I haven't been really watching or doing much. Um, Overwatch, huh. ever since the Commander came out, I haven't been doing a lot of Overwatch. Uh, well, I need to play a bit more Overwatch soon. Too many games for me this month. <laughs> yeah. But anywho, but anywho, if you guys at home have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themetrogmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the show. My personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Star, where can the good people find you? Well, people could find me on my DWR, Angelic or XX, which I just recently posted my new plush. Ah, what did you get? I got a two uh, Hatsune Miku plush that I ordered way back in uh, February. Oh yeah, those two. They arrived, right? Yep, they arrived. Okay, awesome. it was quite interesting because... Well, I thought it was, uh, you know, when they say 50 cm, I was like, okay, 50 cm is going to be fine. I thought it's not going to be big and whatnot. And then, and then after that, because I was like, okay, because I have some uh, idea with my build bear because my build bear was a bit around slightly smaller, and I was like, okay, it's not going to be big. But when I see the box that came out, I was like, why is the box so big? <laughs> I was like, wait. 50 cm? Is that really 50 cm? I was like, wait a minute. They, they didn't even mention how, what's the width and the, what do you call it? Height. No, the height is 50 cm, but they didn't mention the width and the, uh, what do you call it? Depth. A width and the, the depth. Yes, they yeah. didn't mention that. So it was like, what? <laughs> so yeah, that, that's going to be fun. So and then because I got two of them, so yeah. Wow, I do that, that, that's fun. Mm-hmm. Oh my well, goodness! Two different, uh, two different ones. Uh, one is the normal Miku, and one is the snow Miku. Oh my! If you talk about the price, the price is very nice. <laughs> it's not, it's not cheap. Yeah! Oh, wow! That, that's gonna be fun. Oh my goodness! Uh, at least one was uh cost me about uh, six thousand yen. The other one was about eight thousand yen. Uh, and and uh, okay. By the way, uh, not counting in shipping and forward the fee. Yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> so, long story short, is it worth it? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> so yeah, okay. I guess so. I'll deal with it. It's, yeah, right. That's At good. Least I'm happy. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Oh, wow. uh, I don't. Yeah, for those who are curious, you can just go look up in my uh, DVR. 
they are quite big, actually. And they are, at least their tags is awesome. You can also find me on... Uh, where else you also can find me on? On my Twitter, AngelicorXX. <laughs> my goodness, there, there is a lot of... Uh, all right, all right, all right. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm just looking here, and yeah, the, the text looks awesome. The plush looks... Oh my goodness, that's... That is big. Yeah, that, that is huge. Oh my goodness. It takes two Miku to fill up your gaming chair. Yeah, it does. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it, but it's quite awesome. <laughs> I love it, man. It, it's it's r- quite rare in a sense. Oh yeah, that, that too, that too. <laughs> well, the reason why I got the standard Miku was because... Actually, I want to get either one or the other one or something like that. I don't know. It was like, you know what? Screw it. Just get both. Yeah. <laughs> well... The thing is, it was originally 8,000 yen for the standard Miku. But 20% discount, so I got 6,000 yen. So... <laughs> alright, alright. I ain't gotta complain. I ain't gotta complain. <laughs> so yeah, uh, where, where, where else? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and also, please subscribe and read us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also, Stitcher Radio. And also, like our Facebook page. You can catch us on PartyLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, subscribe to the Mutual Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, and Sapphire Heart Song review the funny episodes, comics, and movies. Sometimes we like to do other movies or shows or comics and whatnot. So yeah, stick around to find out what. Anyway, uh, <laughs> if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com. If you support, you'll get a week for the access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I'd like to thank Lurker Cat, myself, like Tristan, Charles, Starstream, Lucky Knight, and also Amy. Thank you so much, guys, for the awesome support. Stay awesome. Anyway, I have been Norman Sando. And this is Starstream. And we'll guys catch you next week with another awesome episode of Yes Show. See ya. See ya. Bye.